Hi folks, thanks for tuning in and welcome back. Today I'm in the mountains and I'm actually going to be going all the way to the top. I'll probably set up a small camp and hang out. And when I get up there, I'll do a gear review for you. I'll share something. I do have a lot of gear with me. I'm basically carrying the house today. Uh, fully loaded. And let me show you what I'm talking about. I have the V69 destroyer right there. And if I can get it in the viewfinder, there we go. As you can see, it is full, completely full. It's a big, heavy pack. I know that'll turn off a lot of people, especially if you're an ultralight person, but that's high roll, and that's what I'm taking up there. And today I'm going to be heading up in that direction, pretty much going north, northwest. And like I said, once I get set up and I get a little camp area, I'll show you some gear. So stay tuned. Hi folks, thanks for tuning in and welcome back again. I'm doing a little bushcraft weekend and I sh thought I would share a premium tent with you all. What you're looking at there is the Helleberg Octo. It's a one person tent. This tent is part of my 72 hour system or what you all call a bug out bag. Now, I have other tents, but for backpacking or something I'm going to be carrying, this is about as big as I would go right here. Anyway, I thought I would break out this awesome little tent, take it out for the weekend, and share it with you. Having said that, I'm not suggesting that anyone go out and buy a tent of this caliber, unless you know it's something you absolutely need. But I'm simply sharing it with you because some of you have inquired what would be my survival tent, or what would I take out if I were going to evacuate and this is the tent this is part of the system and this is the one that I would take out so what I'll do is I'll cover some specs I'll take you around I'll take you in the inside of the tent and please pardon the shake because I did not bring my tripod with me so it might be a little shaky at times anyway the pack weight of this tent and I think that's the important weight the total weight of the tent with the pegs and everything is three pounds eight ounces or 1.6 kilograms the inner height from the very bottom there to the top is going to be 36 inches or 91 centimeters the length of the tent from the foot box all the way up to the head is going to be 87 inches or 220 centimeters and the inner width from the bottom to the other side so I would say shoulder to shoulder is 36 inches or 91 centimeters and this little vestibule area that you're looking at right there that's 30 inches or 76 centimeters and it comes with one pole, a 10 millimeter pole. It comes with 10 pegs. It does come with a very nice carry bag. And you can get that tent down to about 6 inches by 23 inches. And the bag is right there at the very bottom, at the base there. If you, if you could just see that little green bag, that's the bag that it will pack down in. Now, it does not come with the footprint that you see underneath there. That's actually optional, that piece there, that footprint. So it doesn't come with that. And this little thing here that you're looking at, that's just my sleeping pad. I just put it there to get it out of the way. So just ignore that for now. Now, the additional footprint will add about 255 grams to the total weight, or 9 ounces. Now, what I will say is, this tent is very breathable. As you look at the inside there, you can see it's very bright. And it has a nice contrast color to it. It has good ventilation because there is ventilation on top. There is ventilation at the foot box here. And there's also ventilation at the top. There's a little zippered area that opens up. Now these tents come in red. They come in green. And they also come in a sand color. Which is kind of like a khaki I would say. And the material is very, very strong. What you're looking at there is a 1,200 weight curl-on material, which is incredibly strong, incredibly strong material, and that's why I got this tent. And the reason I chose this tent is because it offered maximum protection, and it offers protection from all 
four sides which is really important when you get into wind driven snow and heavy rain and it's extremely easy to set up and I could probably set this tent up in about 10 or 12 minutes with uh, no issues but again this tent is going to handle heavy rain it's going to handle snow it's going to handle wind it's a true four season tent and I believe there's actually some videos on YouTube of this tent being used in 60 to 70 mile an hour winds but aside from being a great survival tent I think this tent here is good for hunting if you wanted to go fishing perhaps if you're going into the mountains or out west on perhaps an elk trip or if you wanted to pursue some caribou or some moose or some sheep in Canada this would be a good option it's also a very hardy tent if you wanted to put something into a kayak on the back of a snowmobile snowmobile excuse me but there are many many applications for the use of a lightweight heavy duty tent like this so what I'll do is I am going to um, give you some close-ups I'll take you inside and as far as cons uh, the obvious is the price of the tent that would be one of the cons and the other con I would say it's a bit small this is a one-person tent it's not a two-person tent and if you're looking for a two-person tent this, this obviously would not be the choice so let me let me get on my feet here and I'll give you some close-ups and this is the vestibule area that you're looking at here it's not bad size I would say you can get your gear in there you can get your backpack and your boots and that's about it you're not going to have much more room than that this is the footprint that I was talking about right here or the ground cloth and this is an optional item I think it's necessary but uh, some of you might disagree this is the little bag that we'll pack down in and that comes with the unit it also comes with a bag for the uh, pegs and it comes with another bag for the pole so I'm gonna move over here and show you how I have it set up like I said pardon the shake and it's very simple to set up there's the guidelines and it has multiple adjustment points and I wanted to give you a close-up of something I previously said it had good ventilation well this is the ventilation area right here in the foot box if you could see that right there and that opens up all the way across let me see if I can open it a little bit more for you there you go and you can see what I'm talking about if you wanted to maximize the ventilation so that's actually in the foot box there the other thing I like about this tent is if you look right here for those of you that are familiar these are line locks and this makes adjustment very easy I mean you could move it back two inches move it forward a half inch and get that perfect tension also underneath here you can't see this but if you look where my hand is I'm actually grabbing some structure that's in there there is a post that's built into the unit that is right here and this keeps this area nice and rigid and gives it some additional structure and it's the same thing on this side pardon the reach but right here there's another piece of structure as well and it's pretty hardy so let me back away a little bit and you're looking at the foot box actually of the Hilleberg and we're gonna move around this side over here and then I'll give you a nice shot and you can see how I have it supported there and there's there's a stake there and there's another stake over there very easy to set up this is incredibly strong material this curl on right here it's a 1200 weight it's going to stop the wind it's going to shed all the rain it's going to come right off here to snow and uh, it's just an awesome material so here's the pole one pole system 
Very, very easy to set up. Guideline, an upper and a lower. And the pole actually goes into a little uh, foot box at the very bottom. The peg whack, the, uh, excuse me, the uh, pole will go into the foot box down there. So let's move around this side here. Now we're going to the front of the tank. And it's basically rigged the same way. Just hard, hard in the bump. And there you go. As you can see, there's additional ventilation down there. And that's the head box there. And I just opened it. And here's that support structure that I'm talking about. As you can see, I'm actually grabbing onto something. Right there. So, I'm going to move over here. This is the front of the tent. I'm coming back along the side. And then we'll go inside. And I'll let you check that out. And let me just stop right here and just show you something. It has this little shelf here. There we go. It has this little shelf area. And the rain comes off there. And then the, underneath is the tent actually connected to the fly. And that's what makes this tent superior to some other models. Because if it's snowing, if it's raining, the entire unit goes up at once. You're not fussing around trying to put a fly on there when the wind is blowing, your gear's getting wet, the inside of the tent is getting wet. Everything is protected. And that's a very, very well thought out design. And what you're looking at here is the front door. It only has one door, one way in and one way out. But it just secures on a toggle here. Here's a little toggle, and that's where the door will roll up and go. And it has a waterproof zipper that will go behind this rubberized material here. Let me show you what I'm talking about right here. This is a flap, and this flap here will actually keep out the rain and the wind-driven snow from getting onto the zipper, and it goes all the way down. And before I had mentioned that the that the main post or the main rod goes into a uh, foot peg, and here it is. As you can see, it comes with the unit, and it'll sit right in there, and that stabilizes it, and it keeps it from moving around. So this is the main pole, and it's actually seated right here. If you could see that, it's seated right inside that and it's completely stable. Another great feature. And this is the inside. And let me just see if I could show you. But there we go. You can see how it's connected all the way around like that. This is very breathable. No CM mesh. It's got nice color. And I appreciate that color in the evenings and early in the morning because it gives you a nice little light or a little more reflection when you're in there with your torch. Now here's the inside. We're getting into the inside of the tent. So you can see it's not the biggest tent in the world, but there's enough room in here. If you're 6'6", 250, you'll fit in here. And... Another great feature, if you can see that, it's a bathtub, uh, excuse me, bathtub design. So if there's groundwater, wind-driven rain, some puddling, you're going to be protected in here. And that goes all the way around like that. And this door, just pardon the bump, this door back here that I'm holding my hand on will actually open up all the way along the bottom here 
and I'm going to show you in a second. There we go. And it'll roll up and attach right to that loop. If you want her to sit in here and read, get out of the rain. And I'm going to come back around this way and show you the foot box. And there we go. And over here, it's just a little storage. And you can put a wool cap in here, maybe an extra shirt. I like to put a headlamp in here, a torch, maybe a little lantern. And it's a nice little mesh storage area. So this is the inside of the tent. Again, it's not the biggest tent in the world, but it's going to get you out of the elements. It'll create a microclimate in there. And once you're able to stop that wind and stay dry, that becomes a really big deal, especially in a survival situation. And this is the tent I basically have chosen for myself. I'm not saying this tent is going to be right for you, but I did want to share it with you all. So let me back out, give you another overview, and then we will uh, close out. There we go. Let me back up a little bit more so we can get you in the full screen there. So again, you're looking at the Helleberg Octo. This is part of my 72-hour system. In summary, I'll say this tent is a premium tent. I like the design. It will handle extreme conditions. It is very portable. It's easy to set up. Uh, this tent is not going to be for everyone. There's many other options on the market. Some of you may choose to build a shelter. Others are going to want to use some sort of a hammock system or tarp system. And only you can decide what works best for you. But anyway, in the unlikely event I ever have to evacuate or bug out, like you all would say, this is a survival tent I have chosen for myself. This is what I have in my pack and what I keep in my vehicle. And I'm happy to share this tent with you all.